This motion is the beginning of the stem turn and all the higher speed turns. It is a preparatory backswing and one of the paramount details for a flawless skiing technique and the source for the necessary rhythm. The turn begins with the skis parallel in one traversing direction. After the turn is completed, the skis will join each other again. First, draw back the upper shoulder, as this automatically will release and balance the motion of the right ski, sliding it into a half-stem position. More and more, the body pivots over to the upper ski, thus transferring the weight gradually to what becomes the outside ski of the turn. The body will have all the impetus it needs to finish the turn by simply bringing the outside shoulder around and ahead. If the slope is not too steep, little stemming with the upper ski will be necessary. The stem turn is a curve, a gradual turn, so do not try to cut corners and do not forget that you have to go down and around with your turn without jerking or lifting either of the two skis off the snow. Make sure that you complete the turn and that you are well around and past the direct line of the slope before you let the skis run together. In the steered turns, as the snowplow turn and stem turn are classified, two factors, momentum and centrifugal force, are intentionally kept at a minimum because the skier is not in a position to take advantage of them. With increased speed, the skier will learn to utilize momentum and centrifugal force to a great extent. They are the origin of swing in skiing. In the pure stem turn, the skis are run together gradually, whereas in the advanced stem turn, they are swung together. Due to the increased speed, the skis will begin to skid during the latter and final phase of the turn. Furthermore, this skid can be intensified purposely by rotating swing and an accurate up and down motion of the body before the skis are brought together. At first, it is easier to steer the turn for the greater part of the curve at least until after the skis have passed the direct line of the slope. And then swing them together. movements and details applied in the advanced stem turn will repeat themselves in the stem Christiania. Swing the upper shoulder back, sliding the lower ski into the familiar preparatory half stem, then together. Shoulder, knees and body forward, then skid. With the very measured up motion and the accentuated weight transference, the outside shoulder and arm begin to swing forward. With the down motion, the knees and body are driven forward as the inside ski joins the other one in a sweeping skid. This is the characteristic of a successful stem Christiania. With perfection, the skis are brought together much sooner long before facing the direct line of the slope. This will result in what is called pure swinging. Once you can link your Christianias in a fluent chain, 
the end of one becoming the beginning of the other, you will be the master of your skis. Most spectacular of all, jump turns and terrain jumps can be of some use under exceptional circumstances. The purpose of a jump turn is to take both skis completely off the snow and switch them around in mid-air to the desired direction. The takeoff in a terrain jump should be determined, pulling the knees well up to the chest. When landing, the legs slide into the slope in a long stride to absorb the impact. You now see the men going off on actual duty. They carry their rifles, pack sacks with full equipment, and have climbing skins on their skis. The skins, of course, will be taken off once the soldiers start downhill running. 